Welcome back. The last keynote in our day program today is going to be held by Andres Aniak. He is the co-founder and COO of Rufit Solar. And Rufit Solar is a startup that develops photovoltaic modules that are integrated into the standard construction elements of a roof. So really making this kind of technology more accessible and replacing conventional roofing materials. Rufit Solar is a former set finalist, so it's really great to have Andres back today to tell us what has happened to Rufit Solar in the meanwhile, what are some of the challenges that they've overcome, how did the company grow in the meantime, and really share some tips and tricks with all the startups that are here today as finalists, but also tuning in from all over the world watching our show. So he's going to tell you how to slowly, slowly catch your monkey. Welcome to the stage, Andres. Yes, thank you very much for, for this kind introduction. And um, I have to say, I'm really, really happy and honored at the same time to be back here at this stage. Because believe me or not, this is not the first time I am standing on, on that stage. I have been here at least three, if not four times. And, uh, and uh, I think some of you probably expect to hear something about monkeys and jungle, and maybe you will, but let's see. Anyway, but I would like to start uh, this kind of almost evening session with a, with a little joke. But, and, and this joke uh, explains how I usually feel after doing this five or three or two many minute pitches here. So basically, the story goes like that. There is a boy studying on a college, and he's sending back an email to his father at home. The email says, says, no man, no fun, your son. And there is an immediate email back coming from the father, so sad, too bad, your dad. <laughs> and this is exactly the feeling when we do the pitching, that you put so much energy and effort into it, but usually you're coming out from that with a zero funding. But what is usually good, that OK, we didn't get funding, but I usually get at least one order of our roof. So the balance is positive. But anyway, today I would like to address my, my keynote speech mostly to the fellow startups. Because today I'm not here really to speak to the investors. I just would like to, to share the experience we have had. But before that, I probably need to explain a bit what we do. So let's go. So we started our company back in 2016. And we started it be exactly because of that, what you see on the picture. Or that. Or maybe even that. We just didn't like how the traditional solar panels are destroying the architecture of the buildings and sometimes even villages. And we thought there has to be a better alternative. There were so many people who actually didn't install solar because they didn't like how it looks like. Then a uh, few years were passing and we started the discussions about uh, climate neutrality that uh, Europe should be climate neutral by 20, 2050. And then we heard, actually I was reading a study from a Cambridge University, which told that in order to achieve climate neutrality by 2050, we need to energy renovate 23,000 buildings every single day from now until 2050. And then we thought, wow, we don't want to see that all the buildings look like that. And uh, so basically most of the building stock in Europe is outdated, inefficient. And that's why it's causing so much greenhouse gas emissions. So we felt that something is coming. So we were, we were doing, we, are, we were in the right place at that time. And now actually this year, I think you all have experienced how the energy prices are fluctu fluctuating. And for example, back home in Estonia, our electricity price has increased four, five times. 
And this is why we are now suddenly getting quite a lot of inquiries that I need a solar roof quickly, uh, I need to fix my energy cost. And so we feel that there is some sort of tsunami coming towards us which says that soon, soon we, uh, we are in the right place with our product. Anyway, that's why we think building integrated solar will have a very key role in the future, and we don't claim we are the first one. Tesla is there, for example, very actively, mostly in the United States. But uh, there have been other companies, but mostly these solutions have been too expensive or too difficult to install. And we hope to address those issues with our product. And what we do? Essentially, we do something very, very simple. We have taken already an existing roofing panel, roofing material, and we have activated the surface of this roofing material with the PV materials. And what it does for the roof, it is very easy to install. It's basically installed by the roofers as every other roof. All the accessories are already available on the market, and so it is simple for the market. It fits the market. And secondly, what we discovered actually later when we started, is that there are other side effects. And these side effects are getting more and more important. For example, because we install two products at the same time and we don't need any mounting accessories or anything like that, we are actually already today more cost-effective solution compared to if someone would like to install a new roof and a solar panel on top of that. We can beat the price already today. And secondly, which is, even, which is even more important, is that because we use less materials, our CO2 footprint of, with this product is lower than it is for the conventional solar panels. And this is getting more and more important. So where we stand currently, we are ready to scale. We have in Tallinn a very nice factory built up where we produce our solar roofs. We have sold around 200 roofs in 10 different countries, and we can show quite a nice uh, growth curve already today. And we are so happy that just a month ago, we closed our Series A fundraising, which was led by Paiva RE Energy Ventures. And we have a really, really cool and interesting set of investors now with whom we can actually push this thing forward. But now I will come back a bit to the monkey, to the monkey business again. So, slowly, slowly, catch your monkey was the title of, of my presentation. And I think you got a few points already from the introduction, what it means. But now I will give kind of four key ideas what have helped me, at least, to go through this process, which is sometimes slower than one would like to see. At first, yeah, sometimes, I think some days, I look like that. And it's really, really stressful because there are so many problems every single day that you need to solve. Uh, somehow, this is endless. But somehow, I felt this is only our issue. And th th one day I understood actually all startups have problems. It's not only us. If you have a new company, you are attaching a new kind of attacking a new market, then there are challenges. And just by realizing that, it made my life a bit easier to, to, to kind of uh, uh, go ahead with these issues what we have. Secondly, <coughs> this is not about my holiday, which is coming up hopefully soon, but what I have experienced is that a lot of startups are giving up too early. And you know, if you want to catch a good wave, you need to start swimming a bit earlier. And sometimes I feel that some of the startups, they actually started to, to, to kind of swim uh, a bit too early, and they give up a bit too early. But I will just encourage you, please continue a bit more in order to hit your perfect wave. It will come one day. Just don't give up too early. Then the number three issue which I have learned when I have gone through all these different pitching, pitching sessions is that think bigger. 
nobody wants to invest into a small, local, maybe nice business. People want to invest if they see a global potential. And that's why you should think bigger, and this helps you actually to, to also develop a company or company on a totally different level. And the last one is very simple. Just try to stay always positive. I think it's not always easy, but it's so important because your team will feel that, your co-investors, your co-founders feel that, that just let's be positive and try to go through this difficult process. And if you do so, then I'm sure one day you also will catch your monkey. So thank you very much. It was my honor to be here. Thank you so much, Andres, for that wonderful, insightful keynote. It's really interesting to see how far you've come and to get your tips and tricks. So I hope everybody was taking notes. Thanks very much Thank for that. Much. We're going to head into a very short break and be back in just a few minutes with our final panel of the day.